Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 5th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to copy our trades here at Ethereum. And for a full technical analysis, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the oil market, our WTI oil. And as you can see, we did rally quite significantly. So this market has been absolutely extremely volatile the last two weeks. We have seen massive moves to the downside, nearly two nine percent rallies of six percent and so on and so on. And today we are above three percent rally. We're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators, they are basically favoring the upside at this point so the 50 moving average is holding quite significantly and uh, as long as that is the case then we may see this a rally all the way back up towards the top of the bullish band if you manage to get a green candlestick above the middle of the bullish band then there is a um, fairly high possibility that we will manage to go back to 67 break below the 50 moving average well that could drop us all the way down to 50 uh, 55 and probably also all the way down to 50 dollars so but at this current stage 50 50 moving average is holding and we are and technically just they are all turning around and becoming bullish so let's look at natural gas so natural gas also rallied today up towards um, 2.6593 uh, to be exact at this current stage, we're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average at uh, give or take 2.6310. Uh, 200 moving average has offered yet again support. So at this current stage, technical indicators, they are all turning around. They are basically favor favoring the upside. So if we manage to close above the 20 exponential, we could head towards the top of the bullish band here at 2.7, which is also right where the 50 moving average is which should offer quite a lot of uh, resistance for this market. We are in the period of the year where markets usually tend to drop in value due to lower demand. But at this current stage, the 200 moving average is holding quite significantly. And we're actually just bouncing off the 200 moving average at this point. So let's look at copper. So copper has found support down here just above the 50 moving average at uh, give or take uh, 3.9 to 64 and we rallied a little bit today and we are trading at the 400. Technical indicators are still very bearish for this market. So we do have a trend line here that we have to break. And uh, at this current stage, we are not even close to that trend line. But if we do, then we could see this market um, rally up towards 4.33 yet again. So 50 moving average has offered significant support in the past. We can see it here, also here, and so on. And uh, at this current stage, it is also offering support. So after testing the 50 moving average in the past as well, we have seen massive rallies like this. So Let's see just what basically happens with copper. So let's look at gold. So U.S. Treasuries and uh, U.S. dollar, uh, U.S. dollar basically depreciated today, and U and the Treasuries also fell. So that was basically uh, bullish for for gold, and we rallied towards the twenty exponential. Our trading at seventeen and twenty eight at this current stage. Technical indicators are all turning to the upside. MACD is still in bearish territory. We are still in a in a bearish in a downward trend or a, and um, we are just testing the 20 exponential but break above the 20 exponential could open the door to the top of the bullish band here at 17.50.50 and the 50 moving average at the 17.71 a breakdown from here will most likely find major uh, support at 16.84 break below that well that could head all the way down to 1600 so let's look at silver so also silver usually follows after gold, and uh, we have also done that today. We have uh, rallied above the 200 moving average and heading are heading towards the 20 exponential moving average here at 25.36. So at this current stage, um, technical indicators are all turning around. Uh, MACD is still in bearish territory. We're still in a downtrend here. 
but we are turning around and will most likely cross the signal line if we manage to rally further towards the 20 exponential moving average break above that opens the door to the 50 that is at 26 26 and break below these previous candlesticks here that could open the door to 22.5 let's look at platinum So everything basically rallied today, and so did Platinum. So we have this um, trend line right here, which we basically broke today. So we break, broke above that trend line, and at this point, this is a very bullish candlestick. We have no pullback whatsoever at the end of the session, and we could head towards the top of the bullish band first at 12.32 uh, before we find any kind of uh, resistant. If we uh, continue from here, we can also head to, towards our previous highs at 1300. Technical indicators are all uh, turning around. MACD is becoming bullish at this point and, uh, and entering bullish territory. So this could actually be, how, be the bottom and this could be basically a breakout that we've been looking for that will head us towards 1300. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium, yet again, has rallied, is testing now the previous highs here and is trading at 26.62. Technical indicators are all turning around. And uh, at this current stage, if we break this, then we can head towards uh, 27.50. Uh, breakdowns from here will most likely find major support at the 20 exponential at 25.37. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has found a bottom yet again at the 20 exponential moving average, tried to rally and then broke down again. We are still in the green, uh, but uh, 20 exponential is holding yet again as it has been doing for the last few uh, few weeks or actually a few months. Technical indicators, they are all kind of... Uh, MACD is basically bearish at this point, Stochastic is bearish, so CCI is turning around and the RSI is basically flat at this point. But this is basically what is interesting that is the 20 exponential is holding and that means that we could give another rally towards the top of the bullish band at 22.77 so let's look at nickel so nickel has tried to rally from the 200 moving average and is trading right at the uh, basically middle of the bullish band there so yes there's not a lot of things to say about about nickel if we manage to break above the 20 exponential, we could head towards the 50, break below the 200, that opens the door to 15,000. Uh, technical indicators are basically all over the place at this current stage, so it's just a waiting game still. There's nothing really changed here. We've just been trading sideways, really choppy trading. So let's look at the sugar. So sugar has uh, tried to rally and then collapsed so this is a really 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 negative candlestick and could basically send this uh, market all the way down to the 200 moving average um, when the market starts opening again technical indicators are all very bearish at this point this is not looking very good for for sugar if we manage to rally from here then we'll most likely be massive selling occurring at the 0 0.1548 which is that 20 exponential moving average so let's look at cotton. So cotton also rallied the last, or basically tried to rally the last few trading days and then just fell apart today. And we are ending right at the 0 0.7062. Technical indicators are yet again all turned around. And at this point, it looks like we are heading towards the 200 moving average. Rallies that have tried to rally, rally towards the 20, expon 20 exponential, but we didn't even get close to that. And at this point, 200 moving average looks much more likely than 20 exponential. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa tried to rally also today. We got close to 2.406, that's where we got to, and then we broke down again. Technical indicators like the stochastic are turn, turning around, crossing the signal line. The CCI is still in a bearish territory, but it's turning around. Then RSI is bullish, and the MACD is bearish at this point. So at this point, we are cross, having a cross um, of the 20 and the 200 moving average, and um, we will mostly see more bearish momentum 
at this current stage. Rallies towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into uh, as well. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has rallied towards the 200, uh, 20 exponential moving average and then just collapsed yet again. We're trading at 607 and at this current stage it looks like we are going to head towards the 200 moving average and uh, we'll probably not see a significant bounce until we get towards the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are all looking fairly bearish at this point. Stochastic is still bullish, but otherwise we are, they're very bearish at this point. Rallies towards the 20 exponential have failed numerous times now, so it looks like we're just going to continue lower towards the 200 moving average, which is at 588 at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to copy our trades over here at eToro. And for our full technical analysis, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.